When I was just a little girl, my mama used to tuck me into bed and she read me a story. It always was about a princess in distress and how a god would save her and end up in the, and end up in the glory. Then homegirl came out talking about, I lie in bed and think about the person that I wanted to be. Oops. And then they said, then one day I realized the fairy tale life wasn't for me. <laughs> and then they realized that the fairy tale life was not for them. See, Cheetah Girls came out in 2003. In 2003, I was eight years old. At eight years old, I learned that I was going to be a bad bitch. Because the thing is, the girls who identify with the Cheetah Girls, where are you now? Where, wh where are you now? Rise up, bitches. We're doing, we're doing big motherfucking things. Why? Because... I don't want to be like Cinderella, sitting in a dark, cold, dusty cellar, waiting for somebody to come and set me free, bitch. And then she, and then they ended off with saying, I'd rather rescue myself. What? Because I ain't finna wait for nobody. That's one thing I'm not going to do. I am the, you know what? I'll just do it myself. Just give it over. Give it over. I'll do it myself. Which is a blessing and a curse. Oh my God. It's a blessing and a curse. It is a skill to be able to take a job, teach it to somebody, and they move on and do a good job at that job. That is a talent that I'm not too sure that I have. I'm I'm developing more I'm developing patience as the days go on. I'm getting better at it, I promise. Um y'all, I was listening to the Grits and Eggs podcast, right? Shout out to Deontay. I love him down to the ground. I love him down. He is so cool. He's so smart. He's just dope. Super dope. He mentioned praying grandmothers, right? Grandmothers who pray for you. And it it made me self-reflect because I'm like, did, did I, did I have a grandma that prayed for me? And the answer is no. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, oh my God. The answer is no. Uh, and that's no shade to my grandmother. I love her, right? Um, however, I had a young grandma. Yeah, I had a young mother, which means I had a very young grandma. When I, I sit and think, I'm like, oh my God, my grandma was like 38 <laughs> when I was born. <laughs> she was still in her 30s. I, I just can't imagine 10 years from now, I'm a grandma. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the reason why I know I didn't have a praying grandmother or a grandmother who prayed for me is because um, the first time I heard 21 questions was actually in her car. That was her song. She, Girl, it's a little me now. Hey, what do you know me now? And I was like, okay, 21 questions, all right. And then I also remember her Daisy Dukes and how I told her, I said, Grandma, Nobody that I know has a grandmother that's wearing shorts like this. I didn't have y'all's grandma. My grandma was not like y'all's grandma. I remember I said, Grandma, everybody else's grandma doesn't, doesn't smoke cigarettes and, and they bake cookies and they... I <laughs> and she said, I don't give a fuck, Keisha. That's why I'm fucked up now, y'all. That's why I'm fucked up now. And don't get me started on my dad's mother. I do not want to get started there because this is going to get dark. It's going to get dark. Do you want me to shut off the lights, guys? Um, 
she was dating a guy that was younger than my mother. And let me tell you guys, um, my mother is like 12 years younger than my dad. <laughs> and um, unfortunately, the person who um, took her life was that guy. So anyways, I told you guys it was going to get dark, so let's move on. Okay, so I did not have a praying grandmother. So th that is the reason why I am who I am. Sorry, Grandma. You did it. Because I you wasn't praying for me. I know Grandpa was. But at the same time, okay, okay. are the ladies in the room? Is, is it just us? Is it just us? Um, I, I don't know if his prayers made it to God. <laughs> I don't think um, a man would pray for um, a woman like myself. Let me just say that. Cause I know for a fact he was like, make her a servant, make sure she she um uh listens to her man, make sure and haven't done none of that. <laughs> I'm gay, I'm loud, can't cook. Like to talk shit. Kind of a whore, kind of not. He didn't pray for me. I, it, it, it couldn't have been me. Couldn't have been me. Because I know what, what type of prayer that nigga was, was, was saying. I know what type of prayers he was saying. But anyways. Did I introduce this podcast? Did I introduce... Oh my God, hold on, hold on, hold on. I fucking didn't. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, it's early in the morning. It's 9:30. I am so sorry. It's it's actually 9:47 to be exact. I am I am so so sorry. Hello guys. Welcome to a podcast I call As Your Big Sister with your host me, Asia my queen. A podcast giving you big sister advice from a big sister who wish she had a big sister because wow, I would have been a better bitch. Wow. 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 I am so sorry. I'm trying to get my shit together. I'm still waking up. Anyways, as your big sister, I don't like you, you don't like me, but who cares? That's exactly what I wrote in my notes. <laughs> in capital letters, I wrote, but who cares? Who cares? Let's talk about it. So, hmm, I'm going to spill a little tea. Um, my partner's dad does not like me. I know it. I know it. He looks at me and he's like, mm. he just doesn't like me. And like, I think I know it's not for like a reason, like something that I did that was just mean or bad or anything like that. It's just like, I don't like your person. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like what you are, who you are. And the thing is, is that like, I catch myself at times trying to overextend myself, overextend my energy, I should say, overextend my energy to almost convince him to like me. And sometimes I will try to be small or a little like in the cut to not put myself out there to for my feelings to be hurt when he expresses his distaste for me. But I find myself in 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 spaces and in thought processes where I'm like, yeah, he doesn't like me. Yeah, I'm thinking hard about this, but like who cares? Okay? Like who cares who he likes? Who cares who you like? Who cares who I like? Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, I do not want anybody staying up all night thinking about if I like them or not. I just don't want, like, it. Like, why? What is my like going to do for you? I don't sign your paychecks. I don't, I don't run anything in your life. So why should you care? And that's what... I want all of us to think about sometimes when we're staying up all night thinking about if somebody likes us, if like somebody accepts like the person that we are and like the, 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 it's like, who gives a fuck? 
We're making this person God. We're making this person that has like this say over our life when they don't. Now this person is taking up so much energy in your brain. Thinking all day, oh, does, does, what's the reason? Like, why? Like, blah, 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 blah. who gives a fuck? Yeah? Like, who cares? And I feel like people who make their like so important, you know what I mean? People who are like, I don't like George. I don't like who are constantly like feeling like they have to express that they don't like someone. They're just whack to me. Like you're so fucking whack because who gives a fuck for real? (laughs) Like who cares? Who cares? Like even who cares about my like? I'm not somebody who needs to tell everybody who I don't like. You know, like, I just don't like you. And I move on. I don't need to keep repeating it. I don't need to keep treating you in a way that expresses my dislike. I move out the fucking way. You're over there. I'm over here. You're over here. I'm over there. It did. Yeah. But sometimes people think of themselves as so high and mighty and so nobody cares, okay, sis? Nobody cares, sir. So you being disrespectful, you being um um belittling, you treating that person poorly just because you don't like them. It's just whack to me. Stay the fuck out of the way, my nigga. Like, why do you want to be in a space where you don't like somebody? Get out the way. But I feel like so often, I, I let me cook. Let me cook because I'm going somewhere here. Um, I think so often, like, we don't hear ourselves We don't find our feelings to be important. So we have to express a certain feeling towards people so that they find what you're feeling important because you can't even do that for your fucking self. So now you're just constantly expressing your dislike for everything, everybody. Nobody cares. Nobody does. And it honestly makes you look whack. Nobody want to be around somebody that, oh, 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 I don't like, I don't. Mopey ass bitch. Nobody cares. I re- am, am I going to, am I going to keep going? Am I going to keep going? Okay. Yes, I am. Uh-huh. There is this, there's this person. And if you're listening to this, if you're watching this, I am so sorry. You're going to have to take this with God. Or to the nigga you told this to. This person told another person that they thought, based off of social media, they thought that they were going to like me more than they like my sister. But when the person met both of me and my sister in person, face to face, she actually likes my sister more than she likes me. So she told this to somebody and that somebody told me. There's a lot of issues here, right? There's a lot of issues. There's an issue. I think the first issue is the person telling me, right? Because it's like, why, why, why do I need to know this? Okay. And I think the second issue is the person telling the other person. The first issue is an issue because you obviously find that this person is so important that their like or their distaste for somebody needs to be spread to that person. You know, Francesca don't like you. Obviously, you find Francesca's like so fucking important that you got to fucking tell me. And why is Francesca's like that important to you? 
oh my God, I was going to go far. I was going to go far. Oh my God, I was going to go far. Nope, nope, nope. Nobody cares. Because, you know, it's so funny because I, I told my sister, I was like, dude, you know, uh, homegirl told homeboy that she likes you more. And she thought she was going to like me more. And my sister was like, oh, fucking K. <laughs> She was like, oh, fucking right? Like, okay. Uh, And that's one thing you can't do. You can't get between me and my sister. She might annoy me. I might annoy her, but that's my sister. And you can't over compliment me or over compliment my sister to make us go against each other. Because we peep game and now we're against you. Stupid. You fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. But like, going back, nobody cares about who you like, what you like. No, no, no one. So take that information and be like, okay, no one cares what I like. So I shouldn't care what the fuck he or she likes. Does it matter that they they don't want me around? They, I won't be around. I won't come. And that's just the type of person I am too. Like, you know, like I said, my partner's dad don't like me. And, you know, I just try to stay out the way. I'm not, I'm not like going to try to like prove myself. I catch myself sometimes doing that. But like, I catch myself every time. I'm like, okay, wait, hold on, hold on. You're not God, bro. I don't have to dance for you. I don't even have to dance for God. That's the craziest thing. I don't have to dance for God. I can come as who I am and feel loved. I don't even dance for him. So what makes you think that I'm going to get over here and twerk for you? So I'm not going to keep begging for your agreement from me because what is your agreement for real it can't be deposited into my bank account it can't help me get a six pack it can't help me get clear skin it it, no it's not going to help me do any of that so that's a bag that I've been in. Like, who cares who I like, what someone else doesn't like? What? Th- 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 move on. Move the fuck on. A lot of the things that we make so big really aren't. A lot of the things that we we think are a big deal, we, we, we find to be like so important, so big in life. In the grand scheme of things, they aren't. You're going to forget about this just like you've forgotten about so many other things. I'm sure you guys have been in spaces where you've been through something like so fucked up. It feels so devastating, right? And then years pass by, you don't even think about it. And then somebody will bring it up and you're like, wow, like I never thought I would get out of this space. I, I thought this would be something I would think about every single day. And I haven't, I haven't even thought about this in years. You know, I, I think a part of life is applying importance to things. But I think we put a little too much importance in everything. And everything we do, we think it's just the last thing that we're going to do. It's not. You know, and... I'm also getting better at accepting people for who they are. Like before I used to try to make people who I thought I wanted them to be instead of just accepting the fact that like I don't like them and then just like move on. You know, like I don't like this person. I don't like the way this person does this. I'm not trying to manipulate and turn you into something that I want you to be. I move on because I know that there's other people, other things out there that are what I want and how I want them. And I don't have to go through so much stress to make them into something that I want. I'm not going to see that you're a bad friend and 
keep trying to manipulate you and create a good friend out of you. I'll go get me a good friend. (laughs) You know, I'll just go get me a good friend. Oh my God, this episode is so short. I am so sorry. I am so fucking sorry, y'all. This episode is so short. Oh, it is so short. It is so freaking short. Oh my God. Should I say more? I have something else on my list. Like, can we like talk about that? Okay, let's talk about that. Okay. Okay. Um. Mm, okay, let's talk about this. I wrote down how like sometimes you have to suffer the consequences of feeling bad for people. You know, like okay let me stop let me stop nope I'm not gonna stop um like there have been times where I've given people too much money right and then I ended up the broke one I'm like wait hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on somebody would be like uh hey uh can I hold forty dollars until next Friday and I'm like yeah no no problem no problem all right give them forty dollars and then Maybe a couple days later, I'm like, fuck, I don't have any gas money. How am I going to get to work? And this motherfucker got a full tank with my $40. (laughs) Oh, my God. This motherfucker got a full tank with my $40. Rolling down the street, sipping in or smoking in the... And I'm on E. Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? The other day, this girl going to complain to me that her ex, okay, this is so, okay, this is some, this is some ghetto shit. Are you guys ready? She bought a car, right? And she letting her ex roll around in it. She want her ex, her ex don't want her, by the way. He got him a new bitch. She let her ex roll around in the car. She needed a ride somewhere. And I said, girl, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You mean to tell me you got a car and your ex is riding around? And the thing is, is that like, I probably shouldn't have brought this up, but I was trying to wrap my brain and or actually I was trying to show her what the fuck she doing. I said, your ex is rolling around in your car and you're walking around this bitch in 116 degrees. (laughs) <laughs> you're walking around getting getting what you need to get in 116 degrees and your ex is driving in air conditioning in your car and you ask him for a ride and he says no and she said yeah I said why she talking about I feel bad for him and something just like it just it just jumped guys please i said see now look you feel bad for him and now look look where you're at in 120 degrees and i, I and i literally told her you're literally suffering for feeling bad for somebody else cuz look this motherfucker don't feel bad for you he rolling down the street in your car are Rolling, rolling in your car, bitch. And she said, yeah, I know. Do I feel bad for saying that? Yes. But I don't feel that bad because the next day, guess who was in her motherfucking car? Guess who was driving in her car? Her. Her. She just needed somebody to say it. Because sometimes you just be doing shit and you just be just moving throughout life and nobody's explaining to you, listen, this is what you're doing. Nobody's putting it into words. What you're doing. I've seen so many people save somebody else From being homeless. And now both of them are homeless. (laughs) 
Now look, first there was one, now there's two. Not saying you shouldn't help people. That's not what I'm saying because I need help. We all need help. But the difference between me and a lot of these other niggas that need help is that one, I got you back, right? And I'm getting you somewhere else where I can get you. We're we're exchanging goods, I'm not the nigga that's laying on your motherfucking couch, baby. And eating all your kids' fruit snacks. I'm not that nigga. But best believe, okay, you spotting me here, I'm spotting you there. You spot me there, I spot you here. Like, it's just how it goes. I I exchange. I'm not, I'm not, nope, 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 nope. You ain't finna get me. Nope. Uh Uh-uh. Because I've been bamboozled way too fucking much in my life. Nigga, I came back to my apartment one time. I let a family member stay one fucking night. One black ass fucking night, bro. And why was my change missing out of my change container? The motherfucker left and so did my change. I'm like, see, this is the thing. Like, I'm more than willing to help anybody. But people are so fucking, they almost ruin it for other people who actually need help and want to, you know, get their shit together and are willing to 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 give you something like maybe they cook the dinner and you uh, give them rides to work or they, you know, bring you lunch and You know, something. Nope. I told you guys, my grandpa literally stayed sleeping on my mom's couch or my aunt's couch. The same grandpa that didn't raise neither one of them. Right? See, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. He would stay sleeping on their couch more my aunts more than uh, more of my aunts than my mom because my mom is uh, mm-mm. <laughs> mm-mm. so my mom let my grandpa stay on her couch for an extended amount of time right a few months because a nigga would overstay his welcome he'll be there for years if if you let him let him stay on the couch why did the nigga when he moved out, he took our home phone, took that bitch out the wall. And it was an expensive home phone, too. It was the one that had the buttons on the actual phone instead of the dial part. I'm like, bro, a motherfucker lets you stay at, at, at their house and you steal from them? That's what these niggas be doing, though. That's what they be doing. And like like I said, they fuck it up for people who are actually trying to really get on their feet and really treat this place like, you know, some, with some fucking respect and dignity. And, and they have respect for the person that's helping them. But some niggas just, mm-mm, mm-mm. So like I said, sometimes, think about it. Am I willing to suffer for feeling bad for this person and help and helping them out? Am I willing to suffer? Sometimes it, it's yes. Okay, cool. Me? No, I'm not doing it. I've done it too many times. Done it way too many times. I'm not doing it. I can't do it. And then I think, oh, well, people have helped me out. Like, you know, my friend has paid this for me. My partner has paid that for me before. The difference is, is that I'm not you niggas. Not only do I pay people back, whether it's in money or something that I do for them, I do for you too. I don't always have my hand out. I give too. Some people will never, ever, ever realize that. Be a good time. Be somebody that's good to be around. Be somebody that's cool to fucking be around, bro. And people will want to help you more often. 
It's just like, it's like, like that saying, bite off the hand that feeds you. Why would you do that? Now, this person's not going to want to help you out anymore. Because I'm a one shot. You get, you get one shot with me. If you fuck up that shot, you're done. You know how J. Cole says, fool me one time, shame on you. Fool me twice, give me blame on Fool me three times. Like, why, how did we get to two? How the fuck did we get to two? I go, fool me one time, we're done. We're done. How the fuck did Jacob say two, three, four times? Shame on everybody. Shame on the crowd. Shame on the boom. Oh, how did we get past one? When you do some shicey shit like steal the fucking phone out of my wall. Whoa, we're done. You're too desperate for me, bro. You're way too desperate. You're way too desperate. You're way too willing to do something stupid. Okay, you know, you might have left a dish in the sink. Maybe, you know, you're, you're a little, like, you leave your shoes out in random places. Okay, I can get around that. I'm not picky like that. But, nigga, you still in change out of my motherfucking piggy bank and shit? Like, okay, all right. Now we're doing fucking crackhead shit. And I'm just not, no, nope. Not doing it. Seeing people go down the fucking drain just because they want to help somebody out. I knew this one girl. Oh, my God. She helped out her sister. She helped her sister get a car, right? She co-signed for her sister. Why her sister do some stupid shit, ends up in jail, and now the girl had to get a second job to pay for the car because she's a cosigner and doesn't want a repo on the credit one. I just get the repo, bitch. I don't give a fuck. I'll just get the fucking repo. I'm not getting a second job. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. But that's just me. I'm just, I'm not a hard worker. I'm not a, no, I'm not doing it. I don't give a fuck. But two, Look at what happens when you help somebody out that I know for a fact, if this bitch did something stupid and ended up in jail to where you had to sit there for that long, this is not your first rodeo. You shouldn't have done the cosign to begin with, sis. But you know what? You did it, whatever. Like I said, I'd have just took the repo. Mm -mm. I'm not getting a second job. And I remember her crying every day. She would would just be like, I'm just tired. I just went been up all day. And I used to be like, bro, if you're, once your sister gets out of jail, whoop her fucking ass. Whoop her fucking ass, bro. And she's like, I just don't want my credit to do them. I'd say fuck the credit. Fuck the credit. Fuck it. I'm not doing it. So yeah, like you got to think, is, is this situation worth you overextending yourself like this? Probably not. Probably not. You're probably going to end up fucked with them. Now, neither one of us have a car. Neither one of us have a house. Because I'm trying to fucking help you. Mm Mm-mm. Not doing it. Not doing it. Not doing it. I'm going to do it for people who who are trying. Like, when I was like... I tell the story all the time. When I was like 21, I had to move back in with my mom's house because uh, someone broke into my house. I had to move back in with my mom. Um, my car had just been repoed maybe like three months before that happened. It was just trash, bro. I was taking the bus to and from work, two hour commutes each way. It was ass. It was so bad. But I feel like, you know, maybe my mom, I don't know why she was willing to help me out like this, but like she saw that I was getting up and working every day. You know what I mean? And I was saving my money to get a new car and I was saving up money to move out again. Literally, I got a new car and moved out in the span of like four months. Like it was not there long. Not at all. Wait, wait. July to August, August, September, September, October, October, November. Yep. Four months. I was out. I had my new whip. Uh, got a new place. I was renting a room from this one girl. It was a terrible house. It was so fucking disgusting. But like, I think my mom was so willing to help me out because like she saw me moving. She saw me doing what I had to do, you know? 
And I was, I was trying to stay out the way, trying to not like disrespect like her space, you know, like I, you know, did not make her place a home at all. I was living out of a hamper, you know, so I, mm -mm. nope, not doing it. You know, I made sure to 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 recognize the fact that I am a guest in this home. Me and my mom don't have a mommy, mommy, this is my mommy, and I expect a whole bunch from her. Like, we don't have that relationship. It was legitimately like a me crashing at, like, a friend's house or something like that. Knowing that I'm a guest in this house. This is not home. And... I wouldn't want anybody to feel like that. Like if I were to help be helping them out, don't get me wrong. I I would not put anybody else, any in that, anybody in, in that space. I would not put anybody through that because I do want you to feel like you have a home. There's nothing, not, there's not a worse feeling than feeling like you're not welcomed in, at a place where you're sleeping. So I would never do that to anybody but I would like someone who respected the fact that I'm helping you out. So you're going to have to help me out, my nigga. Like I said, make sure, you know, we got dinner or something, you know, make sure, you know, the house is straightened up and just like get get your shit together. You know, go to work, you know, save up and shit like that and just get your shit together. That's it. Nigga, I moved into that. I moved into my mom's house. And while we're moving my shit in, I'm like, mom, like, you know, this is just temporary. Like, I'm going to get out. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not going to make myself comfortable, whatever. And I was like, I just need about like three, four months. I think I told her six months. I just need like six months and just I'm, I'm going to be out of here. And she was like, yeah, you're going to have to be out of here sooner. Hmm, that's interesting. And I started crying. And I remember my brother being so pissed about that. He was so fucking pissed. He's like, mom, why would you talk to her like that? Why would you do that? You know? And I was like, copy. That's the type of person I am. Like, oh, cool. Mm-hmm. I'll be out here in two months. <laughs> I- Mm -mm. You don't have to make me feel unwelcome for too motherfucking long. I'll be the fuck out of here. Bye. My pride be getting to me. I'd be like, okay, you're not gonna, you're not gonna make me feel like, I'm not, no. Okay. Bye, girl. (laughs) I'll still away go. Fuck. But anyways, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching me. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to tell everybody that I'm beautiful, kind, smart, and sexy. My name is Asia, my queen. This is Azure Big Sister. Bye-bye.